ESLE 2019 Paper 2 Question 10 At first, the ratio of the number of boys to the number of girls in a chess club was 4 to 1. After 6 boys and 6 girls joined the club, the ratio became 3 to 1. A. Did the percentage of members who are boys increase, decrease or remain the same? Show your working clearly. B. In the end, how many boys were there in the club? To solve for the percentage change, we do not need actual numbers. All we need is the comparison between boys and girls. We know that at first, there is a ratio of 4 to 1. So, we can call it boys, 4 units and girls, one unit. That will give us a total of 5 units. With this, we can calculate the percentage of boys. Using a fraction where boys will be the numerator, total will be the denominator, and multiply by 100%, we will be able to calculate the percentage of boys. That gives us 80%. In the end, we will not use the same unit of measurement since there's actually a change. So I will call it parts this time. So in the end, boys, I will call it three parts. Girls, one part. And total, of course, that will be four parts. Again, we can calculate the percentage of boys using the fraction boys as numerator, total as denominator, and I multiply by 100%. So I will get 3 quarters multiplied by 100%. This time it is 75%. Comparing 80% and 75%, we know that the percentage of boys has decreased. To solve part B, we will create the ratio 4 to 1 as a model. So we'll have boys having 4 units and girls having 1 unit. Now since the number of boys and girls who are going to join the club is the same number, we will join them from the left of the model. This will cause the ratio to be different and it's now 3 to 1, so I will call it 3 parts and 1 part. The difference between this is now two parts. In this question, you notice both variables have changed. Boys have changed, girls have changed, totals have changed. But there is one item that did not change. And that is the difference. Although the difference did not change, at first it was known as three units. Now it is known as two parts. So we need to make this difference exactly the same. The fastest way is to use a ratio. Using the ratio for at first, boys 4, girls 1, the difference will give us 3. In the end, the ratio is 3 and 1, giving us a difference of 2. However, we did say the difference must be the same, so a common multiple of 3 and 2 should be 6. So both ratios need to be changed so that the difference becomes 6. The first one, we multiply by 2 to get a new ratio, 8 to 2 to 6. The later, we multiply by 3 to get us a new ratio, 9 to 3 to 6. Now we need to check to make sure that computation is correct. Boys at first 8, finally 9, so there's an increase of 1. Girls at first 2, finally 3, 
there is also an increase of 1. So this corresponds with the increase of the same number of boys and girls. We can therefore say 1 unit represents 6. Since the question is asking for boys, in the end, there should be 9 units. So 6 times 9, that will get us 54.